Uh, we're going to take this old furnace out here and put a high efficiency one in. So we've decided to move it down underneath the stairs. We're just going to pour this one slab here, just enough to put the furnace on. And then we'll be adding a drain into this whole drain line that we've created here uh, for the furnace. The high efficiency furnace it gives off water and by code we're required to put a drain in. So we've uh, just put enough to mount the furnace on uh, of cement. So they'll be all leveled out and uh, made, look, made to look nice for the float. Now that's the remains of our uh, old furnace. The ductwork for it anyway. The uh, heating uh, man has figured out something to do with the old furnace so it won't be a complete waste. Uh, lots of new sheet metal to go in here. A whole pile of uh, the ductwork up here down in the basement to tie everything together. Hard, hard at work here. This is the new high efficiency furnace that we're just putting in. Uh, Colin, why don't you tell us what you're doing here? I am installing a new four sear duct system with a high efficient furnace, 92.1% efficient, and redoing the entire duct to have better airflow to the entire house. And we will be redoing the gas and air conditioning as well. Great. Okay, thanks. Good show of some of our duct work here coming up from the basement and spreading off into the second floor. What we'll do is we'll box off both the sides of this uh, dining room window to make it look nice. And we'll have a valence run across the entire length of the room here to kind of make everything look smooth.